Como School of Advanced Science ou Renewable Energy. Para compor a mesa, convidamos o professor Dr. Vagan é, Copian, tá né? reitor da Universidade de São Paulo. Aqui, Professor Dr. José Goldenberg, presidente da FAPESP. <risos> Professor Dr. Reinaldo Giudice, vice-diretor de exercício da diretoria da Escola Politécnica da USP. <risos> Professor Dr. Colombo Celso Facinari, diretor do Instituto de Energia e Ambiente da USP. Professor Dr. Hernan Chaimovic, é, especial Program Safapest. <risos> Professor Dr. Roberto Simões Moreira, coordenador deste evento. Estão todos em pé, em posição de respeito, ouvirmos o hino nacional brasileiro.
Ouviremos as palavras de boas-vindas, professor doutor Roberto Simões Moreira, coordenador deste evento. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope you all have a good trip. It was for some was a little difficult, but we know that uh, everyone, we are very happy to have everyone here this morning. Mr. Professor Vahana Gopian, Rector of our University, thank you for your coming. Uh, Professor uh, José Goldenberg, President of FAPESC, thank you for your presence. Professor Hernani Shaimovic from FAPESC as well, special programs. Professor uh, Reinaldo Gildes, our Vice Director, and Professor Golombo from Institute of Electrotechnic and Energy Environment. Thank you. I will welcome all of you, as I said. Before the turn of the millennium, it became clear that it was necessary to seek one or more energy sources in quantity, quality, and availability to replace the traditional carbon-based source. Among the available sources, solar energy, biomass, hydroelectric, wave tidal, wave tidal, ge geothermal, and wind power can success successfully substitute those traditional sources based on oil, gas, and coal. As in the rest of the world, Brazil has spent great efforts in order to develop technology and implement new energy sources. Within this framework, Sao Paulo School of Advanced Science on Renewable Energies is an opportunity for the participating students and scholars to interact with world-renowned authorities in an intensive two-week course in the vibrating city of Sao Paulo the business heart of Brazil. In addition, the academic environment will also provide the opportunity for the students as well as researchers in general, both national and international, to initiate or continue technical scientific studies in Brazil, and particularly in one of the international level universities of Sao Paulo. FAPESP, uh, the, the Sao Paulo State Research Funding Agency is the sponsoring agency that provides all the resources for the coming of you to the event. It was no easy task for the executive committee to select among more than 1,200 students from all over the world in terms of taking part in this event. In the end, we had more than 30 national selected besides the students from Brazil coming from other areas but Sao Paulo. The executive committee worked too hard to make this event possible. We congratulate and give a warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to Brazil, welcome to Sao Paulo, and welcome to the University of Sao Paulo. Thank you. Ouviremos agora as palavras do professor Dr. Hernan Chemovic. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm not going to be very formal because I can't, even though I wear a tie, okay? <laughs> so, thank you all for being here. And in the name of the uh, director of the University of Sao Paulo, Professor Bahan, I say good morning to all the people who came in the, in the table. And for all of you students and researchers coming to the, to the course, I have been given about five minutes, so I didn't bring any slides, okay? So you're okay with that. So welcome to Sao Paulo the State of Sao Paulo Foundation for Research, FAPESP, has special programs. One of the programs of the foundation is the organization of 
advanced science schools in several themes. These schools are in line with the very clear strategic dimension of Papespi that believes that international relationships are essential for increasing the quality of research, technological research, and innovation in the state of Sao Paulo. And that means two things. One, to send people abroad. Two, to bring people to the state of Sao Paulo. And when I say bring people to the state of Sao Paulo, I'm not only saying that all of you are enjoying this special school, but that after the school, when you take a look at what we're doing here in the state of Sao Paulo, some of you coming from abroad may wish to come back to the state of Sao Paulo, and Papespi has several programs that supports postdocs from abroad. Actually, Papeski never asks for a passport when we analyze and peer review a program or a project. We analyze the project. So we welcome you, students from abroad, students from Sao Paulo, to look at the Papeski website, which will be in the website of this course tomorrow. Okay? Uh, yes. Or today. Or today. Uh, <laughs> it's not there yet, but it's going to be, don't worry. Uh, we push for that. Uh, to look at the uh, website of Papeski and look not only at the wonderful opportunities that all of you will have in joining this special course, but the opportunities of coming back to the state of Sao Paulo and help us to build this state in a science, technology driven economy. So without much, I'm taking almost four and a half minutes of my five, without much to say, I thank you very much for coming and hope that you coming here from abroad, from Sao Paulo, will really enjoy the science, the technology, and the new aspects of renewable energy. When you look at the division of energy consumption in the world, and you think, how has that evolved over the last 10 to 20 years, you will see that the renewable part is not growing as much as we would like to do. However, this is not a question of supply. This is a question of demand. So a part of science, there is a policy and politics side that we have to be extremely aware of. Scientists today cannot as it was five decades ago, worry exclusively about their science. Scientists today, and you young people, have the responsibility to understand that. Science today have the responsibility of creating top level, best science, best technology to be involved in the social and political aspects of what we're doing. Only in that way, the best scientists that I hope you will be, will be able to change the way that the renewable energy is occupying space in this world. Without much to say, I thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Ouviremos agora as palavras do professor Dr. Colombo Celso Tassinari, diretor do Instituto de Energia e Ambiente da USP. 
Good morning to everyone and uh, all members of the table, Professor Dr. Vahan Agopian, and the our host, director, this vice director of the Polytechnic School, Professor Judith. And uh, Professor Jose Goldenberg, the president of the uh, OPSP, Professor Hernan Shaimovic, and uh, Professor Simões from the organizing committee of this important event. The Institute of the Energy and Environment of the University of Sao Paulo has a great pleasure in participating in this important initiative supported by FAPESP that is the School of Advanced Science in Renewable Energy. And the success of this project is attested by the high number of registrations, about 1,200 registrations from both Brazil and abroad. The theme of this school, Renewable Energy, by is strongly linked for several research lines of our institute. Our institute has two graduated programs, one in energy and another one on environment science, mainly related to energy processes. And both of which are classified as excellent by CAPS in Brazil. And this graduated program complement very well the things that will be discussed here over the next two weeks, like energy and environment. And uh, we have uh, several research lines, like renewable sources of energy, integrated resources, planning, supply, demand, and power quality, sustainable development, and the public policy on encouraging the use of renewable energy to the efficiencies and the feasible regulations. In this sense, I would like to invite all of you to visit our institute, to visit our laboratories, to visit our researchers, to discuss about renewable energy, like photovoltaic, solar energy, wind, power, and uh, biomass using several metrics, and also the uh, researches which work with planning, planning and the regulations on energy demand. So I wish of all of you a pleasant stay in our university, and to have a great job in the next two weeks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ouviremos agora as palavras do professor Dr. Reinaldo Gildes, vice-diretor no exercício da diretoria da Escola Politécnica da USP. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to greet my colleagues at the table, Professor Vahana Gopian, Director of the Aula University, Professor José Goldberg, President of FAPESP, uh, the funding agency that is sponsoring this, this course, Professor Renan Chagovic, uh, also from FAPESP, Professor Colombo Tassinari, Director of the Institute of Energy and Environment of the University of São Paulo, Professor Raul Gonzalez Lima, uh, uh, Vice Chair of the Department of Mechanical Engineering of the Polytech School, and Professor José Alberto Simões, uh, the Chairman of this, uh, this course. Uh, it's a, with great pleasure that the Polytech School organized and hosts this event together with the Institute of the Energy and Environment. Uh, of this university. Needless to say about the importance of uh, this theme, 
the timeliness of the stem for the country and for the world. Uh, Poldec School and the Institute of the Energy and Environment as well, through our postgraduate and research programs, have been working intensively on several of the topics related to the production of energy in a more sustainable, sustainable way and with less uh, environmental impact. Just to mention one example, uh, Professor Simões, uh, also Professor Sonic Coelho, uh, myself and a number of other colleagues from Paul and from IEE, from IPEN and from, uh, also from other universities in Brazil, uh, we are members of a uh, uh, center or CGI, a research center for gas innovation, uh, which is a long-term research project co-funded by FAPESP and by Shell, uh, and it's based on uh, Polytechnic School. Uh, this center encompasses uh, four main research lines that study several aspects of the use of the gas, natural gas as a fuel, uh, also as a raw material for production of chemicals and uh, cleaner fuels like hydrogen for fuel cells. Uh, the social and economic impacts of increasing use of natural gas in Brazil energy matrix, and also different process for CO2 abatement. In the framework of the CGI, it's believed that the natural gas may play an important role in the medium term for the transition uh, from the today's energy matrix with still high percentage of oil-based energy to a future scenario where energy sources will be fully renewable, sustainable, and more environmentally, environmentally clean. Uh, and this course is looking exactly to this uh, future. Uh, we, we, we must move forward to this future, uh, to this long-term scenario, to develop and improve the use of renewable and sustainable energy sources. Uh, all these uh, sources will be surely need sooner or later to replace traditional sources based on fossil fuels, including oil, gas, and coal. Uh, for these technological developments, what we need? We need knowledge, we need science, and we need engineering. It's in this context that Sao Paulo School for Advanced Science for Renewable Energies is incentive. In this incentive to week course, renowned speakers will be presenting and discussing with you, uh, researchers, professors, and students, recent scientific and technological advances on uh, renewable energy sources. Polytech School is very proud to host this event, and I'd like to thank all the colleagues, professors, and staff involved in the organization of the course. I welcome all, all of you and wish you enjoy the course very much and I hope that the lectures and discussions in this course will inspire new ideas and encourage more people to work on this scientific and technological research for the development of this uh, important and fascinating subject. Thank you. Anunciamos as palavras do professor Dr. Varrana Gopian, reitor da Universidade de São Paulo. Good morning, everyone. It's really a great pleasure to host this São Paulo School of Advanced Science. And first of all, I'd like to say that it's a great honor to have among us Professor José Goldenberg. Professor José Goldenberg, former director of the University of Paulo, now is the president of APESP. He is the most important scientist, Brazilian scientist on this subject, and I'm very proud to have you here with us. Professor Goldenberg spent the last two or three decades studying this subject, mainly new sustainable energies sources, and he is 
worldwide known as the as, as a major major research in this in this topic. I also thank very much the visiting professors. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Thank you very much for coming to São Paulo to share your knowledge with us and with our students, and the students from all over the world. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, as Professor Shaimovic has already related, has already described, São Paulo School of Advanced Science is a very important initiative of AFESP to really to to contribute for internationalization of the Brazilian activities in research and development. Thank you very much, Shamovix, for the for your support. Thank you very much for for FAPES support your work. And congratulations for the initiative. Finally I would like to thank you for the organizers, Professor Simon Simon and his team. And it's not very easy to to organize a, a St. Paul School of Advanced Sciences. It takes time. It, uh, it takes organization. It takes effort. But I hope that everything is going okay. And finally, thank you very much for the students. Thank you very much for applying for this school. And congratulations because you were selected among 1,200 candidates. Now we have, I understood, 50 students living in Brazil and 50 students coming from abroad. I hope you enjoy your stay here. The, the, this fortnight will be very productive for you. And I'm sure that we are going not only uh, teach subjects for you, but share knowledge with you. So welcome to Sao Paulo, welcome to University of Sao Paulo. And I hope you really enjoy your stay in Brazil in some form. Thank you. Anunciando o término desta cerimônia de abertura, a Universidade de São Paulo deseja a todos um ótimo evento, tenham todos um ótimo dia. Passamos agora a condução deste evento para o coordenador, o professor Dr. Roberto Simões Moreira. a little bit before the, the break. We have some more words. <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to work very intensively. Uh, I'd like to present some of members of our committee executive executive committee, starting here, Professor Demetrius. Professor José Aquiles. <laughs> Professor Claudio Pacheco, Claudio Roberto Pacheco. <laughs> and Professor Sonia is outside, but I will introduce her. I also thank you. I'd like to present some of our speakers or actually lecturers. Professor Paulo Santos from University of Porto. Professor uh, Sotiris Calogeros from Chipre, <laughs> Professor Stephen Krautner from Germany, <laughs> Professor Gerhard Itt 
from the electro cell. Okay. And others will join us later this week, other uh, lectures. Uh, we have uh, a program that we are going to try to follow as close as possible. Um, <clears throat> you, I, I believe most of you are installed in a, a hotel nearby, right? Most of you. We had some uh, adjustments. And uh, you can eat some areas here in, um, inside the university. After we're going to give you some directions for some restaurants, you can go. Um, uh, what else? Uh, this school it has been uh, broadcast. And if you have some friends who would like to also uh, follow the school, you, they can do that, okay? And in a, there is a link in the main page of the events right there. We also have a Facebook page. Some of you have been following the Facebook page. So you, you can share that with your friends if you wish, okay? Um, some more information about the University of Sao Paulo. The University of Sao Paulo is a major university in Brazil. It, it, it's a public university that belongs to the state of Sao Paulo. It's fully supported by the state of Sao Paulo. Brazil is divided in several provinces or, or states, as we call. And the University of Sao Paulo is one of the universities here. Uh, Sao Paulo State uh, has three public universities. One is University of Sao Paulo, the other is University of Campinas, and the other is the University of the State of Sao Paulo. All of them are supported by the people from the State of Sao Paulo, by their taxes and so on and so forth. The University of Sao Paulo has more than 40,000 uh, stu undergrad students. And post-graduation, we have nearly about the same or a little less than that. You can basically all fields of knowledge. You can find some uh, uh, some areas you can work or some. Uh, so it's a very rich university in terms of knowledge, uh, and it's always leading uh, the the ranking uh, in, in this international. I mean, among the Brazilian universities, always first or second in the the, the ranking. So it will be a great opportunity for you that is looking for a place to continue studying, consider the possibility of coming not only to the University of Sao Paulo, but to all one of these universities uh, that are, all of them are well ranked internationally. So please consider that and as you interact with us. Of course, these two weeks, we are going to learn something from us. Uh, most of you don't, didn't have an idea of Brazil. Some think that Brazil is basically a uh, rainforest, which, which is not true. Most of people here in Sao Paulo don't even know Amazon forest. Very few have been there, because it's far away. But some of uh, a state that has uh, most of the industries in Brazil are located here in the state of Sao Paulo. So the technical, scientific, uh, the University of Sao Paulo is always leading this area here in Brazil. So, thank you for coming. We're going to have a break now. Um, there will be, in maybe 20 minutes or so, we're going to have some... Uh, uh, some coffee breaks, some uh, refreshments, and so on for you. And then later we are going to start up. Okay? Please warm up your engines and then we start soon. Thank you.
Gracias.